Welcome back to the Technician Exam Study. That's element two, and we're on sub-element six delta. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, a lot of this is going to reference back to video number 20 because there's lots of electronic speak in this. So the first question is, which of the following devices or circuits changes an alternating current into a varying direct current signal? Now, alternating current passes from positive to negative. The rectifier takes the positive part and keeps it positive. And then the negative side, depending on what kind of rectifier, either clips it and keeps it from passing, or in a full wave bridge rectifier, turns it into a second bump. So that is a rectifier. And if you go back to video number 20, there is a rectifier in the T-2 drawing schematic. All right, so question number two, what is a relay? Well, let me tell you that a relay has four connections at minimum. Two connections are an electromagnet, and then the other two connections go to a circuit. It's a way to isolate a circuit. You have a relay, if you wanna hear one, turn your blinker on. Or, if you want to hear one, push your horn. Most of the time, those in your vehicle use a relay. The horn, all it does is activate that magnet that pulls a contact to make contact between those two other pins on the relay. So it's an electrically controlled switch. Which of the following is a reason to use shielded wire? Now, shielded wire usually has some form of metal braid on the outside with a conductor in the center. And that's like coax is, has a center conductor, and then it has shielded on the outside. That is to prevent coupling of unwanted signals to or from that wire. And a lot of times this is a wire that carries an alternating current because alternating current can be in, induced into another wire, especially at RF. So that is to prevent coupling of unwanted signals. It's shielding. Question number four, which of the following displays an electrical quantity as a numeric value? And this is called a meter. It, and usually a meter is mechanical and it has a, 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 it has a magnet on the inside that causes the meter to move to a number. I don't have any examples here at the table today. Sorry about that. But you also have digital meters like your multimeter. It has numbers that appear on the screen when you measure something. So that is what turns an electrical quantity into a numeric value. And an analog meter uses magnetism. And the digital meter uses some digital measurements to get the same output just in a, uh, a neater format, more current format. What type of circuit controls the amount of voltage from a power supply? Now if we go back to video 20, T-2 shows a um, single diode regulator, a single diode rectifier with a zener diode regulator at the end of the circuit. And a regulator regulates or controls that amount of voltage from a power supply. So you can remember regulate and control. What component changes 120 volts AC power to a lower AC voltage for other uses? Go back to video 20. We talked about that transformer might take 120 volts and turn it into 12 volts. The primary would take 120 volts. The secondary would output 12 volts. That would be a step-down transformer. Which of the following is commonly used as a visual indicator? That's a light-emitting diode, or LED. 
we could make some jokes about bipolar transistors. They can be used as a visual indicator when you let the smoke out. That's just a joke. LED is the answer. This is question eight. Which of the following is combined with an inductor to make a resonant circuit? Now, this could be a whole college class on its own about resonant circuits. Capacitors and inductors are usually combined together to make a resonant circuit. They're used as filters and in they're used as filters in RF um, primarily to um, limit unwanted signals from getting out. But there's other uses for them: inductor and capacitor. Question number nine, what is the name of a device that combines several semiconductors and other components into one package? So if you're combining something, you're integrating. Integrated circuit. So that's how you can remember the answer. An integrated circuit, combine, integrate. Integrated circuit. That's how you can remember the answer to that one. Question number 10. What is the function of component 2 in figure T1? Now, I mentioned in video number 20, 1, I believe it was 21. I've already forgotten at this point now. I've been telling you to go look at uh, 20, and it's actually 21, so sorry about that. Uh, the function of component 2 is to control the flow of current. If you apply an alternating current right here, the amount of uh, current that's going to flow through your lamp is also going to vary depending on how much this transistor is turned on. This transistor does not give off light. It is not the supply of electrical energy, that's the battery, and it does not convert electrical energy into radio waves. This controls the flow of current. Question number 11 is the last one. Which of the following is a resonant or tuned circuit? Now, we just talked about this. It's an inductor and a capacitor in series or parallel. That is a resonant or tuned circuit. So, unfortunately, a lot of these are just questions with answers you have to memorize. Hey, thank you so much. If you are enjoying studying for your technician license, or if you're not enjoying it, please like and subscribe. I'm Robbie, W1RCP and 73.